In a lot of modern games, there are microtransactions that allow you to spend extra money to buy randomized loot. Let's say that you're interested in buying these loot boxes. Putting aside the issues pertaining to ethics, psychological health, etc., let's talk about these loot boxes. Do your expectations of the odds match reality? Let's pretend that in this game, there are several tiers of items, but you only care about the highest tier, the legendary items. The chance of a legendary item dropping from any individual loot box is 1 in 100, which is quite low. However, you plan on buying 100 of these loot boxes to increase your odds of snagging a shiny legendary. What are the chances that you will actually get a legendary item? 100%? 99%? 50%? 1%? Take a moment to think about the problem and set your expectations. What do you think the odds are? Let's now try to solve the problem. On our first poll, there's a 1% chance we get our legendary. If that happens, we're done, we've succeeded. However, there is a 99% chance that we miss and we have to try again. From here, it's exactly the same situation. A 1% chance we get our legendary and a 99% chance we don't. We repeat the situation for poll three, then repeat again for poll four. Since we are pulling a hundred times, we do this all the way to poll 100. Now that we've drawn a tree of all the events, let's calculate the actual probability. To do this, we simply add the probabilities of each way we can succeed. The first success has a 1% chance of happening. The second success has a 99% times 1% chance since you need to fail on the first poll before you succeed. Similarly, the third success would be 99% times 99% times 1%. Continuing in this way, we add up all of our probabilities to get our result. We can make this slightly easier by factoring out the 1%, but this is still a pretty intimidating expression. While it's not too difficult to work it out if you know the trick, there is a much easier way. Notice that there is only one branch we haven't calculated, which also happens to be the only way in which we can fail in pulling a legendary at all. The probability of this happening is 99% to the power of 100. This is called the complement because it is like the missing part of the complete problem. The probability of succeeding combined with the probability of failing must be 1, and so the probability of success is just 1 minus the probability of failure. Look at how simple the solution was. This expression comes out to be about 63%. The lesson here is that whenever you have a probability or counting problem, make sure to always consider the complement because it may be that solving for the complement will be far easier than solving for the intended answer. Keep in mind what this 63% tells us. This means that if we were to buy 100 loot boxes, there's about a 1 in 3 chance that we don't even get our legendary. Was this in line with your expectations? Do you still think the loot boxes would be worth your money given those odds? This also means that even if you were to buy 200 loot boxes, there's about a 1 in 7 chance you still don't get your legendary. This is clearly subjective, but the fact that so many people feel cheated by these odds is the reason why so many games include a pity tracker, which guarantees you a legendary after a certain number of failed pulls. Now, let's generalize our answer a little bit. Let's say that instead of a 1 in 100 chance, it was a 1 in n chance, and instead of buying 100 loot boxes, we buy n loot boxes. Let's make a general formula for the probability, and then make a table. The general formula is as such. Take the probability of a failed pull and raise it to the nth power, as we are doing this n times. Then take the complement. Now let's make a table using the first few values of n. Notice how quickly it approaches the 63% value. It turns out that as n approaches infinity, this probability approaches the value 1 minus 1 over e, where e is the natural number, approximately 2.718. It is a special real value with an infinite decimal that does not repeat in the same way pi is. 
Why this E value appears in the formula is a story for another video, but I've linked some sources in the description if you want to learn more. Additionally, we can use this problem to derive the formula for a geometric series. We start by equating the probability of pulling a legendary using both our methods, with and without using the complement. Now let's generalize by making 0.99 equal to R, and 99 equal to N. Dividing both sides by 1 minus R gives us our geometric series. So what did we learn? Firstly, that probability is a finicky thing, and oftentimes our expectations don't line up very well with reality. Next, when tackling probability and counting problems, it's important to consider whether solving for the complement would be easier than solving the original problem. Specifically, for this class of problems, the probability is basically always going to be a little bit above 63%. And finally, through this problem, we can learn some related math concepts and formulas, such as the derivation of the geometric series. If you enjoy that, please hit the like button, share, and consider subscribing to my channel, where I will be posting all kinds of math-related topics.